The Vice President, Dr. Mahamadou Baumia, says government will not renege on its effort to get the economy back on track. Dr. Baumia said the government understands the suffering of Ghanaians and has adopted several measures in different sectors of the economy, especially education, infrastructure and agriculture, to alleviate the hardship citizens are enduring. He made the speech at the Black Star Square where he joined hundreds of Muslims to welcome the new month of Shawal following a successful fasting period. Here are excerpts of the Vice President's speech. Effects of the pandemic which ravaged global economies did not spare us. Businesses suffered, private jobs were lost, government lost huge revenues and also spent massively to ameliorate the plight of Ghanaians. In effect, the pandemic severely drew the economy back from the massive progress the government had achieved between 2017 and 2019. This setback, without doubt, made life more difficult for citizens and government as prices of goods soared across the world due to the abnormal increase of the cost of international freight. As if that was not enough, another setback in the form of the sudden global effects of the Russia-Ukraine war hit us at the beginning of this year, when our economy showed signs of bouncing back from the shackles of COVID-19. In spite of the unexpected destructive global factors which have severed the economy in the past two years, our government has not reneged on its development commitments to the people of Ghana in the areas of education, healthcare, and infrastructure development, amongst others. In education, we have continuously strengthened our flagship education policy, the free senior high school, and we have not reneged on other pro-poor interventions we introduce, such as feeding our children at a basic level and also paying for their BC and WACSI examination fees. We have introduced free TVET also to enhance technical education. In health, government continues to show strong commitment towards the National Health Insurance Scheme, and we have recruited thousands of health workers since the pandemic, contrary to the disturbing situation in the past, where health workers were left for almost three years without being employed. Again, in health, our hospitals for all districts, also known as Agenda 111 initiative, is also ongoing. In the youth development and employment, the government has ensured that no public sector job was lost or salary cuts implemented during the COVID-19 pandemic, unlike many other countries where public sector workers were laid off or their salaries reduced. Also, we have invested massively in entrepreneurial development and support to the youth in a bid to help create thousands, to help create sustainable opportunities for our teaming youth.